Welcome to the Nevada Real Estate Post. I'm your host, Jeff. And I'm your host, Tim. And as promised, we have part two. We've got Jeremy Doherty with Guild Mortgage. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the loans that he's seeing. So everyone, get ready! So Jeremy, what are some of the more popular loans that you're seeing people do today in the market? Um, now the biggest, you know, you got your different categories. There's VA, which is always our favorite. Um, FHA, FHA 203K, it's called the rehab. I'll circle back to that. Uh, and then my favorite is conventional. Um, <coughs> and whenever it comes into that realm, if you can't get, if you can't qualify for VA, conventional is the best. The reason why is conventional with mortgage insurance is once you've got 22% of equity. Um, you do, you get rid of the mortgage insurance. It goes it's away. 20%. Yeah, I was that was twenty percent. It's twenty. Everybody always thinks it's twenty percent. When you're buying or refinancing, you got to have a twenty percent equity stance. See okay. from there. We get to learn something. Learn new something new every day. Um, but whenever you're just trying to eliminate your mortgage insurance, because it's no different than fire insurance, auto insurance, um, when you can prove twenty two percent of equity. Um, you can get the mortgage insurance company to drop it now as long as you've had it for two years. That's only okay. with conventional, correct? Only with conventional. You know, in conventional, can, we can finance, you know, we have 3% down, 5% down, and, and so on from there. 3% um, down. 3 A lot of people don't know about this. So now that when FHA loan amounts, staying low like they are for as far as a maximum loan amount, um, we can real easily switch someone into a 97% conventional. So what is the current loan amount for FHA? FHA currently right now has a maximum of $287,500. For the loan amount. That's for the maximum loan amount. In the Las Vegas uh, Correct, every county is different. Yes. Um, and then every January that's re-looked at by FHA to see if they need to increase it or decrease it. Um, a few years ago we were at 400,000 as the maximum loan amount. So I'm hoping to see that go back. Um, Simply, you know, for, for just for the market's sake. Um, the negative side to FHA, and people always say, what is the drawback? Because the interest rate is a little bit lower, right. you know, about three eighths to a half a percent lower than conventional. But the mortgage insurance, whether you put in three and a half percent down the minimum or 50% down, the mortgage insurance is there and it's there forever. It never goes away from the loan. Um, used to, it would only be on there five years. I had FHA somebody ask me that today about that. They said, well, what if we put 20% down and we still want to do FHA? Does it go away? Never goes away. There you go. Um, if you do a 15-year loan and put 20% down, it is reduced um, tremendously. 25% um, down on a 15-year, we can make it go away. But it's, it's still, I mean, how many people do an FHA in 15 years? We're going to do conventional financing. Now, you, you mentioned a 203K loan. Would you explain exactly what that is? 203K, that is a, uh, it's an animal that's out there that, that people just don't know about. And here's where, um, if, as far as rehab type financing, this is the one to always go with. Because buyers, you, you're, you're telling you guys, your agents, um, what you're wanting to be able to buy. You know, your white pickup fence, your, here's the certain house with certain everything um, inside and out. And you can't find it. And where, where that is kind of a sad thing is, buyers end up settling. You know, sure. Yeah. And and just being uh, okay, you know, they're happy with their home that they're buying. You know, steer away from that. But you know, they settled with a two hundred three k loan. It's a rehab, so we can do the the acquisition, the purchase, and all the remodeling that they want to do um, within the loan. Now we can't install a pool. Uh, we to, can only do fifteen hundred dollars in repairs to a pool. Okay, and up to um, what amount can you finance up to? That's an FHA, so it's two hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred. So we can't go over that maximum FHA loan amount. On the two hundred three k, you can take it up to one hundred ten percent. Correct. Well, what we do is and we the take. Value? Okay. Well, we take all the repairs somebody wants to do. Mm -hmm. We take their purchase contract, um, and the appraiser goes out and appraises it at hundred at, at what's called an after completed value. Um, we take that times 110% um, to be able to calculate the loan off of. Yeah. Okay. Now, where my question is always asked is, if I'm doing paint, carpet, appliances, and new bathroom countertops, is that gonna add value for an after completed value? Maybe not, but my view is anybody doing FHA financing should do 203K because we automatically know, since I said 110%, if you remember, 
that $200,000 purchase, we've automatically got $20,000 in rehab. Which can and be used for carpet, paint, everything to make it bathroom counter to make it what they want. Now, no more settling. Yeah. Um, and, and I see people much happier when they can, you know, get the house exactly what they want. Now, it's just habit to not have all that extra money, yeah, you know, yeah, after you buy. It. Well, most well, people doing an FHA loan too, they, they're, they're struggling to come up with that three and a half sure. percent down and any closing costs. So, carpet, paint, all that, they settle, like you mentioned. Correct. Um, we to be able to see them make the house exactly what they want and you know because nobody wants the carpet that somebody else lived on especially they got a baby crawling around yeah. or whatever i'm one of those that i will not live on carpet that someone else ever was living on yeah um well, jeff always changes the toilets, house. Change, yeah, change the toilets toilets are another thing that has to be done yeah and and this does that's the beautiful thing is this does it so the loan doesn't take any longer than a regular you know 30 days yeah and then the work starts right then so you okay. know, most contractors that go out and do it, they're done within, what, two or three weeks. So, uh, well, well, this is the kicker. Most lenders will tell you that, they, that they're that familiar with FHA 203K, but Jeremy is one of the guys in is, the Valley that has done a ton of them, and he's very familiar with them. So be careful with what you do if you're going to go with somebody. It'd be like if I owned a Ferrari, I would not take it to Walmart to get the oil changed yeah. just because they change oil. So I want, I want to add one thing on the 203K, an example of what I have going in Indiana right now. And that is the house had to be condemned, but it's on an acre and a half of land. So we're using 203K to knock it down to slab and rebuilding a wow. whole brand new wow. home because there was an existing home there. So the 203 k is doing right. that, and these people yeah. are putting three and a half percent down on the entire project. So there's some Again, fantastic stuff that can go on with it. Oh, brand, brand new, new house. house. Yeah, right. that's great. Yeah. So, uh, so Jeremy, tell me the the qualifying difference. Let's say between FHA and conventional. I mean, is it harder to qualify for one versus the other? Definitely, there there's there's extra steps when it comes to the conventional side, but definitely not something that's unobtainable. Um, for example, if you want to do 3% down conventional, um, there are programs as low as 640 score um, on up. You know, when you can do 3% down, 5% down, and so on. Um, the great thing about conventional is that the mortgage insurance goes away eventually. You know, FHA, easier to qualify for. Mm -hmm. It's not looking for so much things as credit depth, we call it. Um, the score, 620, you know where it is with conventional is we can go from 580 score on up yeah. whenever it comes to FHA. So there, you know, there you got VA um, that's pretty easy to qualify at a 600 score on up. Yeah. The cool thing about uh, VA is even if you've used it before, you can use it again. You paid it off. The confusing thing, I have heard it for years is someone says, well, I used my VA 12 years ago. Um, and have been renting since or I've had, I've had, had say stuff yeah, right. too, yeah. We help you attain the uh, what's called reinstatement. Okay. Um, we're direct VA endorsed, so we will help you get reinstated where you can use it again. I think the you know. VA funding fee just is a little bit more. If, if they do not have a disability which exempts okay. them, okay. Um, the, the, the VA funding fee is higher. Okay. Um, but it's still worth it. Whenever, you know, if you're thinking about you know, a 30 year fixed rate at three and a quarter, yeah. With no mortgage insurance, no monthly mortgage insurance, you know, and we can do VA loans all the way up to five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars. That's still the best so one out there. It, it, if you can qualify for <laughs> if it, it's in the military. You know, there's never been anything, anything better than, than a VA yeah. loan. No doubt. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's been great having you in here, Jeremy. The Thanks, past guys. Few sessions and, and teaching, teaching you all about what's going on in the Thanks mortgage again, industry brother. and some of the stuff happening in the future. So I'm your host, Jeff. And I'm your host, Tim. And I'm Jeremy Doherty with Guild Mortgage. And these are our numbers right here. This is mine and Tim's. Jeremy's is right here in front of him. So if you have any questions, be sure to give us a call. If you were looking at buying or selling real estate, refining your house, anything to do with loans, give Jeremy a call. And everyone out there, you know what? Make it a great day!